Hello and welcome to this new episode. I'm Morgan and I want to talk about empathy today. So if you clicked on this episode, it's probably because you are a feeler, you are sensitive or even hypersensitive and you want to change things because, okay, empathy is a gift. It's cool to feel other people, but you don't want to be overwhelmed. You're, you've had enough of feeling drained when you go in public even if you go to the grocery store and trust me I've been there (laughs) like I would literally go to a grocery store if I would come across someone who was angry or anxious I would just feel everything and the only thing I wanted to do was just like oh my god I need to get out of here ASAP like now so I would rush to finish what I have to do and rush to go home and then I would be like feeling weird And I didn't know what to do for myself. And that was up until uh, maybe 2013 that I would feel everything very, very um, intensely. But it doesn't have to be that way. And (laughs) past me used to be like, oh, yes, but that's because I'm an empath. Like, you know, like I, I was attached to the label. But everything you attached, you you are attached to, is actually creating, like contributing to creating your identity subconsciously. So in my head, because I was an empath and I was feeling everything and being overwhelmed, because I was attaching all of this together, I thought that's how I was. So th- m- my belief that it's how it is, it's how I am, that's how it will always be, was contributing to me feeling overwhelmed and being hypersensitive and you name it. But that's not how it works. There is no such thing as being hypersensitive. It only means hypertraumatized. And when you heal your trauma, you will still have your gift of empathy but you won't be overwhelmed. You won't be feeling everything from everyone all the time. And when you will, you will know whose stuff it is and you will know what to do for yourself or for the other person or sometimes both for yourself and for the other person so that you, you know, you kind of close the tap so you're not overwhelmed. You're not absorbing more than what you should or what you need to because should is not a good word. (laughs) Um, So yeah, that's really what I wanted to to share today. And you can still be hypersensitive, but then it's just your gifts. When you stand in your power, when you are balanced, when you are centered, you will still perceive things, but it will be like a gentle whisper and you you won't be as drained when you go in public anymore. It will be fully in control, fully in charge, you will be able to choose which energy you you feel or, you know, like, what does it mean? You won't get as triggered. And if you're triggered, you will be able to shift the trigger super fast. And trust me, I, like, past version of me would never have thought it was possible. I was a sponge. I was absorbing everything. And I I had no idea how to shift that. And I was tired. (laughs) And I was, sometimes I was just crying out of the blue because I had no idea what I was feeling. And I'm like, oh, why does it have to be that way? But it doesn't have to be that way. And it's life changing when you, when you clear your trauma, when you heal your wound, and when you work on your energy field, your aura, this energy field that is around you, become stronger so visualize your aura as porous just to to give an analogy like a sponge when you are traumatized when you are hypersensitive you see your aura as a sponge and the more you heal yourself the more the quote-unquote holes and once again this is just an image that i'm that i'm giving the the holes are filling if you will your energy field becomes stronger and your channel, your, your third eye is clear, your inner knowing is clear, your 
whatever perception that you have, whether you are clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, claircognizant, whatever, there are six extrasensory perceptions, and I've experienced the sixth of them. Like, l let me tell you uh, actually an example. Like, let me share a story that happened to me last week. I think it was on Thursday last week. So right now as I'm recording, it's Monday the 12th of February. So uh, anyway, it was the morning I was literally in my office unplugging my charger <laughs> and as I bent down to unplug my charger I, I, I caught a whiff of cigarette like a smell of cigarette and I don't smoke I've never smoked I don't like the smoke of cigarette so you bet your gut is gonna detect when it's <laughs> when it smells like cigarette I'm like oh and intuitively I knew exactly whose smell it was that was the son of my neighbors who passed away approximately 10 well yeah roughly 10 years ago and I'm like I had the knowing that my neighbor was going to pass soon that something was happening but then I was uh, I was in a rush so I had whatever I had to do I was just focused so I went to do that and then um, I later learned that my neighbor who is in her late 80s I would say was taken to the hospital when I when I got back to my office I I heard about it I'm like oh okay that makes sense that I would smell the cigarette from her son so before it would have like really I would have felt all the feelings but now I knew what to do I knew what to do for myself not to be overwhelmed by the you know the sadness and this is also societal programming because in some culture um, they celebrate the life of the person who is about to pass. They are, they don't mourn the death. You know, I, I've lived in a country where funerals and grave digging were a party, party time. And it, it's it's totally different from what how things are here in where I live, in France, north of France. So, this feeling this clear knowing of what was happening has enabled me to stay centered do what I had to do at a soul level and because I'm like what why do I need to know that <laughs> you know like I'm just going about my business what is the lesson here what do I what do I need to know what do I need to do so I tapped into my intuition and say okay I need to I need to guide her soul prepare like assist to prepare but I, I like it's a whole process and I do respect free will. So maybe it's a story for another time. So because I was clear in my channel, I knew how not to be overwhelmed. I knew how not to be carried away by fears or by sadness or whatever. And, and, and it's not that it's bad. You know, it's human to be sad. Of course, I felt sadness. Of course, I did. But here I'm talking about not letting yourself be overwhelmed and not to lose yourself in stories that's what I'm talking about so that you can still function and honor what you feel assist the souls we need so this is really what it's about and that's why I'm launching a new service especially for sensitive empaths who want to actually stop feeling affected more than they should and once again you will always be affected in a way or another because you are human you have emotions so of course you will feel sadness you will feel compassion you will feel all kinds of emotions because the goal is not to suppress these things it's about feeling without holding on without making it mean something about yourself and if you feel that's the case, it's not that it's bad. It's just that you need to shift that. I mean, you don't have to, obviously, because some people don't. But if you're in a path, if you're on a path of growth, expansion, personal development, spiritual development, like myself, I know you will want to, to shift the root cause so that you can really assist 
yourself and others from a place of being crystal clear. And yeah, so if you would like more information, check out my website or reach out via my contact page, uh, morganrose.com slash contact. Book a free clarity call. And the goal is to actually help you break the resonance. What I said, break, break is not a good word neither. <laughs> you know, the law of resonance, basically any suffering, any emotions that is trapped and not released from your body, from your energy field, is going to create a resonance phenomenon with external circumstances events or even people so if someone triggers you it's simply that they are showing you what is wounded like which aspect needs to be healed if you so desire once again i'm talking if you are on a path of self-discovery here self-growth self-expansion personal development spiritual development <laughs> however you want to to call it and Clearing these things has really been life-changing for me because as a service provider, I do work with people who are traumatized because I, I, help, I help clear trauma, I help clear energies. And in the past, when I was still, you know, when I was a beginner, like baby CEO, <laughs> I would go to people's places to, to give uh, healing facilitation and I would tend to, to feel like be affected by what people would feel. So I would need like a while to recover, like let's say maybe 15, 30 minutes, sometimes longer when it was really a heavy, um, heavy condition that my client would be suffering from. But now I don't have that anymore. And as a creative entrepreneur, as a service provider, you owe it to yourself and to your clients to be fully present and be clear for yourself, for them, and know how to use because sometimes your clients are going to reflect things back to you. And it's like, uh, you know, a teamwork, <laughs> as I always say. So helping you see what needs to be shifted is going to help you so much. You won't feel drained after your session or if you're an artist after your gigs. You won't be absorbing energy from your clients, from your fans, from whoever you interact with. And this has nothing to do with magic. It is just how it is. It's the human technology, if you will. And of course, I will also teach uh, energy shielding techniques in the longer program. So if you want more information, check out my website, feel free to contact me. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to assisting you because this is really, really life changing to, to be able to spot what is going on in your internal environment when your energy start, starts to dip. You can pick yourself up from a place of love, from a place of acceptance and shift and resume your day even you know even stronger than before even more present for yourself and for your people so if you yeah like i said if you want to know more check out my website book your free clarity call and i hope you enjoyed this episode trust me it doesn't have to always be overwhelming you don't have to hide you don't have to feel drained your life can turn around and yeah for the better so thank you very much for listening and i will see you in the next episode bye